And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various victims of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at People government college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the waiting camp, and, uh, and uh, that other camp, some go camp, you know, compensate everybody. In his key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and do more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. And the banner of the African Center for Community and Development um, on outreaching to orphans 2009 has been prepared in Church Street, Cameroon. The artist is Franco. Franco Art. Now we're gonna do a So the banner is ready. How long did it take you to make the banner? Uh, two days. Huh? Two days. Two days. Yes. And we are trying to package the things for um, the orphanage for the program are reaching to orphans by the African Center for Community and Development. Each orphan is going to get a parcel. Today is a special day and the African Center for Community and Development in collaboration with the Limbe Botanic Gardens is going to be reaching out to orphans as a way of bridging the gap of reducing social inequality and vulnerabilities caused by the loss of parents in early childhood.
This is a brilliant initiative and uh, we are trying to encourage ideas like this for other people to other people to copy because when orphans they always feel socially minimized in, uh, in any society and we st if by the time we start getting them more and more involved in uh, activities will make them feel more empowered, more give them courage to be able to carry on with life and uh, African Center for Community and uh, Development is trying to do it in collaboration with the Botanic Garden and it's an initiative that we hope others to copy. You as the head of administration of the Limbe Botanic Gardens and there's going to be something like a, a, a tree planted session at the orphanage with fruit trees and so on. What do you think about this? Yes, it is an uh, initiative that uh, we are trying to get them very much involved because as you all know the importance of tree and uh, the impact of climate change and we want to get them very much involved so that they should not be watching us. If they had an, if they had their parents, maybe they would have been doing it. We want to get them very much involved. And in this idea we knew that some of them will have start developing their capacity in one way or the other. And some might start thinking that they do nurseries, setting up nurseries and planting trees and for example Eru, Prunus and is some sort of capacity building and livelihood improvement. And this is a practice session of the artists who are going to be animating the orphanage. Eugene Banjo Oloa and Matilo and the head of administration for Botanic Garden. And this is Elvis, another musician who is going to be singing to the orphans today. The vision is to get closer and closer to vulnerable segments of society, to understand poverty in its holistic nature in order to tackle it. So the African Center for Community and Development has isolated orphans as a group that needs to be supported. Because of the fact that they are a vulnerable group, we are reaching out with them in collaboration with the Limbe Botanic Gardens and we are going to be planting fruit trees and there that will sustain other children long after those that are there might have left the orphanage and been integrated into society today, our very tedious world. So it is a very encouraging program and we hope to replicate it in other parts of Cameroon, not only Limbe, and we hope that other stakeholders in and out of Cameroon will be able to support such an endeavor to make development get into the tiny nooks and crevices of society once and for all. It is possible if you support us. So we are on and we are up to planting trees at the orphanage now. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of the various species of our people. This was the Ijeo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the way they come. That other captain, some girl captain, you know, compensate everybody. But some of them. In a key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of JP Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this poem, Akbar Dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some have lives that are meaningful, with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.